Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to come and ride along with me today? Well, if you are, let's get this show rolling. Let's get on the road here. Yeah, beautiful sunshine this morning. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> my, my throat is scratching me a little bit, so... Sometimes it does that in the morning, and I haven't had my coffee yet either, so... Turn left on 1st Street, and then turn left That makes kind of sense. In 400 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-94 East. All right there, RJ, we will try that. Oh, wow, that guy almost backed off of the pavement there with his weird trailers. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Oh, well. That's some talking about that guy there in the parking lot there at the truck stop. I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but that's all right. Oh, that sun is bright this morning. Yeah. That for sure is bright. But I like it. I'd much rather have this than snow. I know Pale Rider and Jukebox and all of them were out there in the snow playing around in the snow up there in Ohio. But you guys can't have it. I don't want it. I'm done with snow. I don't want no more snow. Continue on this road for one You can keep it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to get as windy today further in the afternoon as what it was yesterday. Because I had a terrible with field mileage all day yesterday. I had to go against the wind, you know. So that was terrible wind there yesterday. But Hopefully today will be a good day for that department. And I kind of slept in. I figured, eh, yeah, it's Sunday and... And I just kind of figured, oh well, I'll just sleep in. And... So now it's eight o'clock. I was uh, going to leave about quarter to seven or something like that, but uh, yeah, I slept in a little bit longer. So uh, I think I only got up <sighs> about seven thirty-ish. 20 after 7 or something like that, I, I think I got up. Put my video files into my computer so that way they don't get all mixed up with which one is for which day and all that good stuff. And now we're uh, hitting the road again. Yeah. I am seriously, seriously thinking now about buying that that Canon G7X or whatever they call it, X7 or whatever. I'm seriously thinking about buying that one. That's, that's I think, is going to be my next purchase. I think so. But yeah, anyways, we'll continue cruising along here and uh, see what the day will bring us. We appreciate you guys riding along with us today. I hope you stick around for the whole video. And uh, let's have us some fun. Alrighty guys, we are now coming into Wisconsin. Yeah! Now look at that beautiful lake up there. It looks like summer must be getting closer. That's right. There's already a boat up there to the left on the lake. You see him cruising up there. Very soon I'm going to be ready for going to camp too. Going camping. Yeah. A dream Wisconsin. Here we go. Now we are officially in Wisconsin. That's right. We've been cruising for a good while. I think we're getting closer too to making a pit stop. Probably going to uh, make a pit stop here pretty soon. Pretty soon. Don't know exactly whereabouts I'm going to do that, but here uh, very soon I think we will be doing that. I 
might go up to Wilson, Wisconsin and do it up there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, I guess. Probably got about two hours to Black River Falls. I don't think I want to go that far. I'm starting to get hungry. and It's already been uh, three and three quarter hours driving since I've been driving this morning. I mean... I pretty much went all the way to uh, Minnesota already, so I only went into Minnesota a little bit. <clears throat> In 0 0.2 miles, keep to the left on I-94. Yeah. So, I guess when it gets closer, we'll decide on where exactly we're going to make us a pit stop, but uh, I enjoy the nice sunshine out here. The temperature is starting to climb. Continue on this road for 144 miles. I'm up to plus 13 degrees already. Earlier I was only like 6, 7 degrees and now we're like plus 13 already. So that's awesome. And my AC apparently is working. I haven't had no more codes come up on my screen or nothing like that. So we're good to go it sounds like. Yeah, I'm happy for that. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else we need to fix on the truck here now anymore, so I'm very, very happy about that. I might have to do an oil change here after, uh, I think after my next trip, I'll probably have to do an oil change, but uh, yeah, that's a little waste away yet, so. Uh, way station ahead. All right there, RJ. I guess we'll have to keep an eye on that way station. We'll see if they're open today or not. I doubt it that Wisconsin scale is almost never open, but then the odd time they are, but for the most part they are closed. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we just had us a little bit of a pit stop up here in Wilson, Wisconsin. Yeah, that's right. Give me a little bit of a pit stop and uh, I started hearing something yesterday already, right around my uh, buttons here. It sounded like I had an air leak right in there. Cause I could hear the air going through the uh, buttons there. But couldn't really tell yesterday evening. So then uh, today while I've been driving, I started to hear it more and more and more. And okay, so I stopped in here and uh, checked it out and uh, discovered it had nothing to do with this over here. I uh, said, well, I must be losing air somewhere because I can hear the air going through there. So uh, I went to the truck outside and it was, uh, luckily it was nice and quiet and I was able to hear an air leak. So I went searching for it and uh, discovered that my uh, rear axle on the passenger side brake pod is leaking air. So we're going to go up to Black River Falls. They got a shop over there. And we're going to see if we can get that fixed today. Yeah, that uh, sucks. But what can you do? Part of trucking. And uh, I can't have that broken brake pod like that. Do we? That's a uh, big no-no in the DOT department. Luckily we have no DOT scale from here up to uh, Black River Falls, so we shouldn't have a problem. But uh, generally, you know, even if it leaks pretty good, you can still drive a little bit, as long as you don't do it for too long. But don't even know exactly how far Black River Falls is from here, but I think it's about another hour and a half. So that we should be able to do. But yeah, so we're going to have to go into the shop today. And here I was uh, saying this morning, as far as I know, nothing is broke on my truck. Before you said, it's like something broken already. <laughs> but hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just have no luck. But anyways, we'll go over there and get that taken care of and then uh, we'll go from there. Here we go. We have now gotten our brake pod changed. 
And now we are leaving Black River Falls, Wisconsin. That ah, took us about an hour and a half. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's not that much time wasted. They, uh, they were actually a little bit busy in there today, but uh, luckily for me, they were just finishing up another truck that was ahead of me there. And I was able to pull in within probably 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So uh, I got pretty lucky there. Got my brake pod all changed now. I'll show you she's all back to normal. She's good. I'm happy. I'm sure the DOT is going to be happy. 155 US dollars later, and it's all fixed. But at least it's not a big damage, but uh, everything costs money. Everything costs money. That's a fact. But at least now I won't be hearing the air go through here anymore. Unless I guess I'm braking, then it's normal. But uh, while I'm driving down the road here and everything is nice and quiet, I was hearing the air go through here earlier and no I don't hear that anymore that's fantastic so I'm very very happy got us a new brake pot on and we're good to go so hopefully this one will last for a while so we don't have to worry about it again for a while I really hope I really really hope that I ain't gonna have more and more problems here in the near future. I've done so much on the truck already in the last year and a half that I'm getting tired of having to fix so much, you know. But hopefully we can continue on and hopefully we can get good enough work where we can pay for our bills. That's what it really comes down to. If you can make enough money, you can make it. But if you're starting to spend more time in the shop than uh, on the road, then yeah, then it becomes a problem. But luckily I haven't had that too much, so we're good in that department. And I'm happy to report, I think my AC is working fantastic. Yeah, it seems to be doing the job that it was supposed to. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, and it looks like the uh, sun is starting to disappear behind the clouds. We had nice sunshine all afternoon. And they were saying up here in Black Earth Falls that they were calling for some snow and mixture of ice rain and stuff for today, but so far it hasn't happened yet, they said. And maybe later tonight, so I want to try and get out of here before that happens, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the plan anyways. So let's continue on cruising along here and uh, Keep you up to date on uh, whatever is going on. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be it. I am just about done for today. That's right. And what I'm going to do today, instead of going over there to the Flying J, I'm going to go over here to the uh, to the pilot. I'm going to see if they can find me all, a good old parking uh, spot over here at the pilot. That's right. That's the goal anyways. We're gonna go see if we can uh, get us a spot in there. I have noticed that the uh, Flying G doesn't uh, have that high speed internet yet. And uh, as far as I know, the uh, pilot does. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go see if I can uh, get the internet to work wherever I find me a parking spot maybe I can upload a video or two tonight well it would be either yesterday's video and today's video I guess but uh, 
Yeah, looks like there's plenty of parking spaces open in there yet. So should I have no problem finding us a parking lot in there? It's a parking spot, I meant to say. Yeah, it looked like there was quite a few spots open, so... Looks like it has rain here a little earlier. It started drizzling here when I was on my way down here a little bit, but it wasn't actually too bad. It's actually pretty good. Now we still have 252 miles to go for tomorrow yet, but uh, I figured, you know what, that's all right. I'll, I'll be okay with that. It's not like I have to be there tomorrow at 8 in the morning, right? So, let's go see where we can find this spot. There's one open right there, but it's kind of on an angle like that. I don't like to park like that. So, uh, I might go park over here. Let's see. I like to face the building over there, so that way I have a little bit better internet. Almost looks like right here would be a perfect spot, I think. I'm just going to try and make me a U-turn over there. And then I'll come back that way, or maybe I'll even park over here. Now that might be a good idea too, right here at the end. Still facing the building. Well, that might be a good idea right here beside this red uh, Peterbilt. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Right there beside the Peterbilt. That's my plan for tonight anyways. Let's see, yeah, that's good enough. That's lined up over there, so. So we'll back her in over here and then we're done for today. I've done about 819 kilometers today. So that's a fairly easy day, probably about 500 miles. But uh, hey, like I said, I don't have to do more than that. And in order to get down to Gary, Indiana, that would be impossible to find a parking spot over there, so I don't even want to try that. But anyways, we are done for today. There we go. Now we're just starting to straighten her out. Good deal. Yeah, I just want to back. There we go. Perfect. Here we are. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys and gals, we are done. We finished putting our video together from yesterday and all that good stuff. So, uh, and then we went and had us a shower, a much needed shower too. Figure that way we smell good when we get to our customer tomorrow, hopefully, right? That's always a good idea, right? Yes, indeed it is, but, uh, yeah, I'm done. It's almost 10 o'clock, so uh, I think it's time to go to bed. What do you guys think? I think it is. Yeah. So, I don't really have too much other stuff to talk about. Other than it started raining here a few minutes ago. It's not raining hard, but it's drizzling a little bit. When I started coming back from my shower, it started drizzling a little bit, so... Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, we're going to see some uh, wet stuff tomorrow possibly. Well then again, maybe by tomorrow it has already stopped. But uh, anyways, we got about 250 miles to go from here so uh, to our delivery. With that being said, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. My battery is almost ready to die. So before it cuts out, have a good one everybody. We'll catch you again tomorrow right here on Trucker Rudy signing out. <laughs> It's time to get going, it's time to move on, put this behind me, that day is gonna come.